Today, I want us to look at peer pressure in adulthood. When I was a child, I thought peer pressure, peer pressure was something you outgrow. It has to, is only faced by children. But when you become adult, you find out that you still have peer pressure. Peer pressure still exists. But funny enough, some people don't even know they are on their under peer pressure that's what i will be dissecting with you but before i do just that i would like to welcome all my subscribers thank you for helping me grow my channel i really really appreciate it and also if you're seeing my face for the first time or you've been viewing but you don't know whether to subscribe or you're reluctant to subscribe please subscribe i bet you won't regret it join the family let us have fun and learn as well so now let's dive into the topic Like I said earlier, peer pressure, you only think is only children that face peer pressure. But I tell you, in adulthood, kind of, you still face peer pressure. And that of adulthood, to me, is quite um, intense. Do you know why I say it's intense? Compared to when you're a child, you still have your parents to still be there, guide you, talk to you, mentor you, and boost your self-esteem. But as an adult, you will just have to do these things for yourself. Mm -hmm. Some peer pressure comes in form of oral conversation, like people talking, talking you into doing something. While some peer pressure is not even where... They don't even have to say anything. You just feel this pressure yourself, especially when you see your mates, people you graduated with, or people you, you are in the same age group with doing some things you ought to have done, but you have not done that. It puts this kind of peer pressure that nobody is pressing you, but you are feeling this pressure. With the advent of social media, it's not making it easier in any way because Anywhere you turn to, you feel that thing that puts that pressure on you. Those, your peers, that put pressure on you. Funny enough, some people, you don't even know them. Yes, personally, you don't even know them. But because you happen to be within the same age bracket or within the same profession, within this, you'll be like, you will naturally want to compare yourself with such person. I tell you. If you tell yourself the truth, at some point in your life, you might, you might have felt that pressure, that unsaid peer pressure. Now, let me tell you another thing that could put pressure. Mm -hmm. Our loved ones can put pressure on us, yeah? Our loved ones can put pressure on us without knowing your peers. You know when you have this gathering of friends, maybe one person, all of them are all married, then one person is still unmarried, you know, this kind of teasing. Oh, for instance, they'll be like, oh, Helen, when are you getting married? All those things put kind of pressure, yeah, on side pressure on your peers on your fellow you know friend and i tell you sometimes these things come from um angle of love but whether it comes from angle of love mockery or hate it kind of puts pressure whichever way you look at it it kind of puts pressure on the individual you're talking to these days with the way we worship money and material things the pressure is not going to end anytime soon. The peer pressure is not going to end anytime soon. Turn to any social media page. What you see is people doing money, money things. And it kind of puts pressure on their peers without knowing. And you cannot tell the other guy to stop having fun. Probably he or she must have worked hard for her money. And you can tell her not to enjoy. You know that kind of a thing. So, But unfortunately, it might be putting peer pressure. If you also want to know how to control this peer pressure or manage the peer pressure, watch this video to the end because I will be giving you some tips that have worked for me. I believe it will work for you too. Another worst form of peer pressure is a situation whereby you happen to be in this social class, maybe this high social class, but something happens to you, all your source of income and everything shuts down. You see yourself fall to the ground. That is the worst type of pressure. I'm telling you because it is only then you will find out that most of those your class they are not really your friends it's just that they happen to be in the same social class with you and they feel oh they need to move along with their type or somebody within their social class it is quite depressing if you don't guard your thoughts another thing again is that those people you fell down to meet might not even be welcoming as well 
yeah that's the bitter truth now let me tell you how you're going to manage this peer pressure number one thing that have helped me and i believe it will help you is to deal with your emotions talk to yourself tell yourself that i am not going to look at this thing or i'm not going to let this peer pressure press me into something i don't have control over or press me into doing something funny tell yourself that you are okay without doing too much you are okay without having that so much money like your peers you are okay that you're still a single woman at 32 you are still okay nothing is wrong with you it's you need that strong mindset to overcome peer pressure that is the number one trick if you don't know you need a strong mindset that strong will that core value to make you not to fall for peer pressure. If not, you're going to keep falling for peer pressures. That is just the bitter truth. One other way you can manage peer pressure is to talk to those people, especially when they are your friends, trying to put you under peer pressure without knowing. Another thing is to have a conversation with those people putting you under this peer pressure without knowing. It might be coming from a place of love, but when you converse with them, you tell them this kind of puts pressure on you and you don't want to fall into trouble. This works perfectly well in the situation. Is an example I cited in the beginning where you have friends all married friends girlfriends and you have this one one person that is not married such person can speak up oh maybe in a friendly way not like in a fighting way anyway tell them this kind of joke or tease makes you feel somehow if they are genuinely your friends they are going to you know understand with you and stop such you know questions and joke another sure way you can avoid or control that peer pressure is to remove yourself from any situation that puts that peer pressure on you whether is um a gathering whether is a, a group or a friend when such person continues to put you under this peer pressure on due pressure especially especially when is a negative one because somehow we still have positive peer pressure when is a negative one just take yourself out of that situation if it means to cut out that friend if it means to cut out that group i tell you when once you do that you find out that somehow you can surmount that peer pressure how about that sometimes i wonder if peer pressure will ever go away maybe when we get to more a very much more advanced age are we still going to be feeling peer pressure anyway i wouldn't know that only time shall tell these are the tips that have worked for me and i believe it will work for you and if it did work for you please let me know in the comment section also and if you have other interesting tips that can help all of us to learn how to manage peer pressure in adulthood please put it down in the comment section if you love this video please remember to give it a thumbs up share it as well see you soon Bye bye